Hey everyone, Lensmanos here, um, Chilled's here in spirit, <laughs> so Chilled had a uh, a lightning strike and, and I think I've said this before but lost his computer and he's still waiting for his one to turn up and it was meant to turn up today but if I delay recording this video any longer I won't be able to get the video out in its normal order so sorry buddy, you're here in spirit, you sit there and drink your tea and um, actually your cup's empty. How are you drinking that? It's empty. What's going on? It's empty. It's got a finger in it. Yeah. All right. So last episode we were handing in materials for the resource sync bonus program and completing phase one. So that's our um, our advanced plate things that need to go into here. So let's go and hand in the last couple of um, concrete, cement, whichever one it is, whatever it's called in this game because um, I should have them in my inventory now. Let's go to hand those last couple in. Oh, there we go, and hit the the button. That'll take off. Reach. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on Exoplanets bonus program. Funneling parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fixit is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. So yeah, that gives us the ability to, I don't know, resource sync things in. Um, but you get unlockables. So, but that's something that wasn't in the game when I last played it. So I think I'll need to work out how it all works. 50 smart plate. There we go. We'll take them and it'll start making more. I'm not sure what we need it for, but the factory isn't exactly fast enough to make tons of this. But um, it, it'll keep us going. I need to build out the platform some. And I was considering making an automated setup to convert uh, the the leaves and wood uh, and stuff into um, this solid biomass stuff, uh, whatever it is, this one, solid biofuel. So that wouldn't be too hard to do, and I've, I've kind of got the stuff on the ground there already converting from the biomass to the solid one. Um, I could just hook up a couple of assemblers in, ahead of it, so we might we might do that. But um, I don't know how permanent it's going to be, because eventually we will want coal. Alright, so let's head around to the front of this guy. Ooh, hello. Oh, let's actually head around to the front, yep. Right, space elevator. It wants me to put them in there. Field. I don't know where it generates its power from because it's not connected to anything. <laughs> Alright, so we've sent that first lot off. Look at objective phase two. I need 500 of those plates and then 500 of something else and 100 of one other thing. Let's have a look. So we need 500 smart plating, which we're already producing, but not a lot. Uh, we need... Project Part 2, Versatile Framework. And you have 500 Versatile Framework. And then 100 Automated Wiring. And that's to unlock Tiers 5 and 6. So I'm sure we'll get to those things eventually. But for now, now that that's sent, we'll have unlocked in the hub stuff that we can do. So let's head on over. Pod will be coming back in... A minute or so, a minute and a half, 90 seconds. So yeah, I, I can probably set up a couple of things in like two more of these, one for leaves, one for wood maybe, and then it'll just funnel the biomass into here. So we'll, we'll do that in a second. All right, let's have a look in here. Can I actually do it? All right, so we've unlocked tiers three and four. So tier three is coal power. 
and that gives us coal generators, water extractors, pipelines, fluid buffers, and the ability to scan for coal. Uh, it gives us access to vehicles, so we can use uh, trucks to transport materials instead of belts. So if something's a, a long way away, you can actually set up a, a truck to do it. Uh, and then steel production. So here's your versatile framework. Um, should be the space elevator, yeah, okay. Steel pipes, steel beams, steel ingots, and the foundry. So that's coal and iron, I believe, make steel. But we'll be trying to unlock the, uh, the coal pad, because I don't think we need this at the moment. Conveyor Mark II would be nice, but um, I want to get to coal power. Alright, so what do we need? To the awesome sink. Okay. The awesome shop, which isn't expensive. Some, some, uh, some screws, some plates, and some cable. And then we need the awesome sink. So, a lot of people just say just set up a, a mine and just mine straight into the awesome sink to gain tickets to start. Uh, so let's see, constructor, I just need some some plates and some wiring. So let me see what have I got. Got some wire, I've got some of this. Don't know what else I can actually make right now. Let's make some cable. Let's grab some plate. Should be enough for the moment. Let's run out over here. Because I'll probably end up going for another run. And we'll we'll set up the unlock for um, you make you're making the reinforced plates, right? At the moment I think yeah, I'm gonna take all those reinforced plates. I do want to get into coal power, so we will unlock that next, I imagine. Uh, should have what I need now, right? Keep pushing the wrong button. So yeah, I want two constructors and a conveyor merger. So I just need some iron plates and some iron rods. Don't think iron rods are real accessible at the moment. I think I tend to run out pretty quickly. Uh, iron plates at this side. Grab some of them. Alright, so let's really quickly set up a bit of automation just to, to to stop doing my head in when I have to convert the materials I pick up. We've got this guy here. It's going to need power too, right? So real quickly, production constructor. Uh, that's in. One here and... One there. Terrible, right? And again, eh, chilled will probably have a got me later. Now, this is only temporary, so we can always might get rid of it. Okay, so in that, and then number three, I'm going to go you there, you to there, you to there. Very nice. Number one power pole here somewhere. That one's full. Have I got somewhere I could connect to? Yep. Here. There. You. Okay, and I may need to put. I may need to put uh, other stuff here. So I want to turn. Biomass from leaves on this one, and biomass from wood, and then I can just drop wood in, and leaves in, and I don't have to deal with it anymore. I can just do its own thing, right? Okay, let's run back to our hub. I don't even know what's how we're going with power. The biofuel's doing okay here. 
I don't want to get rid of all of it because obviously I use it for my chainsaw as well. Okay. Let's see. So, again, these two can wait. Let's unlock coal power, I think. Oh my. <laughs> what it needs. 50 rotors. I'm going to go and turn off this input, I think, for now. I think this is probably going to be our best bet. So you can have them and, and some cables. I'm going to go and turn off the smart plating assembly because I need the rotors more than I need the smart plating. I think is, is yeah, it's this back one. I'll just turn, finish this one up, turn it off. Right, yeah, so that's going to, again, take a moment. Once we can unlock coal, and as, as I said last episode, we do know where some coal is. I know there is a spot, um, and I don't have a map. There is a spot over there we've both been to and set up prepping for uh, the coal. And I don't know whether you use trucks. I mean, belts that distance is one thing, but trucks would be quite awesome. We could put some sort of... Uh, I wish is there solar panel panels in this game? Because that'd be awesome, especially with Eternal Day, right? <laughs> uh, the other thing I should probably do is set up um, an assembler for cable. Maybe just one that just takes enough to fill itself up. So I got rid of the plates and I need some more cable. Okay, so let me just grab you and reinforced plates will be sitting down here now no they were right here well hard to pick some of this stuff up but it's not going to go in here because it's um i can turn off the belts just keep them in here so what do I need? I need to stop like working things badly. Right, let's quickly make some cable, and then I'll just set up a, an assembler, which is probably going to kill power to everything. Hopefully, having that last assembler off will help. Really want to get into coal power. Okay, let me just make a few of these. Got some plates, okay. Hopefully I've got enough of everything else. You got everything done? Ah, oh, we got the hard drive. Analysis of the hard drive is completed. Select your desired reward. Alternate blueprint for iron wire. I don't really have any, like, copper itself. You know, I don't know. Um... We can make all we can make wire from the copper, that's all we're really using copper for. Alternate blueprint of copper ore and iron ore to make copper ingots. Okay. Instead of one to one, you're making fifteen to twenty, so it's decent. Otherwise the, the bolted frame. Bolted frame. We even unlocked bolted frame, like the f machine frame thing yet. Take a look. Modular frame. Okay, so that's basically using bolts instead of rods. Reinforced iron plates in rods, and this is 56 bolts. Oh, screws, sorry. I keep calling them bolts. Apologies to everyone, I keep calling them bolts. Um, I don't know which one to pick. I don't really care. Maybe this one. Ideal, but... What else? Have I got anything else I can unlock? I thought I had a... I, thought I, had a, I do have a power slug on me. We need to do a bit of uh, researching, I think. A bit of uh, exploring. A lot of things we can unlock. 
All right, let's just quickly make this cable set up. There somewhere. Uh, we're gonna make cable. The one. So I'm just I'm not going to put a, uh, a storage container on the back of this. I just want to have it make like the stack of cables and and be done with it for the moment. That'll help us out with our coal power milestone. So all I'm going to need now is plates and rotors and then the cable. So again, 300 cable. It's going to take a moment. All right. So what should we do now? We've done set up a resource, oh, an awesome sink thing. I think. So this needs 30 cable, uh, 15 of the plates, some concrete. We should have the concrete already and the awesome shop. We're just going to need 200 bolts and I can set up the awesome shop. So let's see what we've got in the way of screws. <laughs> keep calling bolts. Sorry, everyone. And we're just slow on, on making screws, eh? Do need the reinforced plate. That's not fair, is it? Oh, don't push that button. Only 15 of these plates. It'd be quicker for me to make them. Cable, I need... Oh, no, I need... I need 10. I need... So I need 40 cable. Yep. Got some concrete. I've got the plates. I just need a whole bunch of screws. And then some... Okay, cool. Let's grab some concrete and I'll set up the um I don't need that much concrete but we'll grab some and then grab honestly some iron ingots because it's gonna be just quicker for me to make them. Uh let's set up the awesome shop. I need the bolt, I need the bolt, screws for that. So how much, actually, how much screws? 200. Cool, so let's make screws. Up to 200 screws. Should take like a moment. In, uh, because I've got quite a few rods in my inventory, so that's cool. Okay, 58. Oops, there. And apologies for manual crafting. These things have to happen. Uh, so the awesome shop. Just going to pop him there. Okay. And then we can unlock all sorts of stuff. So ladders, stairs, walkways, pillars. Better coffee cup beacons for a ticket. Oh, it looks like we can actually hand in materials. It's not bad. You get a hundred reinforced iron plates for three tickets. Depends what a ticket's worth, right? Some uh, some statues, lights that'd be great for uh, night times. Water pipes, nice. Do some jumping. So yeah, like um, awesome bits and pieces. Okay, so the next thing is to make the awesome sink. So I do need uh, another like seven more of those plates. Let's see if we can make reinforced iron plate. I need 12 
I'm just going to need to make. Look at the uh, the number of reinforced iron plates on the left hand side there. I'll just keep pushing this button until that gets up to about seven. And then we will be able to make the seven reinforced iron plates. There it is. Again, he's like six hits of a hammer apparently. Okay, so that is materials for the awesome sink. Uh, what am I going to do? Am I going to set one up here somewhere and then just dump into it? Or am I actually going to set it up with a, a miner or something and just... Yeah, let's... let's. Hey, what's a miner worth? A little miner. Here, we can make one of them. If I make a portable miner... Down here... outpost. I think of iron. But temporarily, if I set up this down here, let's get rid of this. Nice. And then we set up a miner. Look at power. We need to set up the yeah, just blew blew the power. Awesome sink. Can you somewhere? Can. Hoping that doesn't require power. It requires power. Okay. So you actually, you know what? Because I'm going to be. Oh, I want to push. What button? No. Let me disconnect. I wanna deconstruct. Oh yeah, my bad. Go to that line and that line, and then let's hook. You that's not going to work. I need to put a power pole. Like so, and then in here I'll just put Okay, so that'll start. Points until next coupon. It's a thousand. We'll see what this iron ore gives us. How much power do you take? Like, really? Okay, let me see. I, I need to see. Oh, it needs its own power. Because this puts out 35. And this puts it, this uses 5. So I'm technically just above what I need. Everything's always difficult, right? This needs its own power supply. If. So everything's kind of dead down here, so I'm just going to leave it for the moment. I'm going to go restart my power now that I've disconnected things. Did I kill the whole base? I killed the whole base. No. Nicely done.
Hopefully, by disconnecting that, we should be alright. But again, everything should be working. The other half of the base shouldn't have gone off. No. Alright, well, I have uh, some exploring to do. I need some more of that solid biomass stuff to blow. Can I grab some fuel? We need to go for an explore, I think, and find some more bits and pieces. Just let the factory do its thing while it makes up the materials we need, but obviously I need better power generation for that guy. Um, but it's one item for a ticket. Yep. Fun stuff. Alright, so really quickly, before the end of the episode, take it over to where the coal is. And you'll see, again, that it's just one of the ones that I remembered where it was based on the last time I played. Because um, the last time I played, I, um, as I said, it was very early access. And um, you started in the same spot, pretty much, each time. Which was over this way. So I kind of remembered where, and I guess, guess you guys can go back and watch the series if you want. It should still be on the channel. Um, you started, you started over here somewhere. Oh look, a slug. Grab the slug. I'm sure, we can get it. My slug. Right, so you started over this area somewhere, like over behind, behind this spot. Because I remember having some of my advanced stuff was around here. And most of my original base was actually up on this little plateau. Yeah. Pretty sure there'll be iron. Yep. So this is where I originally way back played. Uh, I was using these iron limestone over there and I think copper was over the back there somewhere. This is where my original base was. Where was that slug? On there. I don't know if I can jump up there. We shall try. I am inside the rock. Our slug all right, so the coal is over there. Um, that was another power slug there for a second. There's a whole like this is one edge of the map, pretty much. There's a whole bunch of materials around on this map, and there is oh, there's websites that tell you where everything is as well, where you can punch your, uh, your maps in. But there's the coal there, so you can see where we we bridged across. Uh, looks like there's a bit of quartz right there. But this coal, it's, it's a long way to send it, but the space elevator is just there. So, funny how I say it's just there. It's, <laughs> it's a fair walk away. But um, that, in the grand scheme of things, isn't isn't a huge distance for satisfactory. So we can hook up our coal, run it over there. I'll have to get it there at some point and collect that. Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. Yeah, it's that. Look, there's a house slug there too. Harvest it. Anyway. Alright, I'm going to wrap up here. So thanks everyone for watching. Place your comments down below. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully Chilled will be back by then. Until then, see you later.